Ciao a tutti ragazzi and welcome to this new video of Dr. Cocktail. Today we're going to make three different styles of old fashion. The first one is going to be old fashion that we can make in the comfort of our home. The second cocktail we're going to make is an old fashion like if we were working behind a professional cocktail bar. And the third one is going to be a very peculiar twist of an old fashion made with bacon, tobacco and chocolate. So if you guys ready, let's go! If you are a history buff, you can connect this drink to the first recorded definition of the cocktail category in general, circa 1806, which called for the spirits, sugar, water and bitters. The old fashioned hits all those marks, with whiskey, sugar, water and aromatic bitters. Discard the ice and let's get a sugar cube. And let's get the Angostura bitter, an aromatic concentrated bitter based on gentian, herbs and spices. And now that we have our sweet and bitter, let's use some soda water to combine these flavors. Muddle the sugar and blend it as much as you can with the water. We're ready to pour 50 ml of bourbon directly in the glass. As we are at home, we can simply freeze some tap water. Just try to clean as much as possible the cloudy parts so it won't melt too fast. Stir the old fashioned and when it feels cold in your hand, then it's ready. Leave it on the side for a second and let's move to the garnish. Get an orange. Yeah, well, uh, welcome in Italy, guys. <laughs> if you like to show off some simple tricks with your friends and family, get a lighter and warm up the orange zest. Get close to the side of the glass and get ready to give me a like on this video for this cool trick. To finish off our home old fashion, get a cherry and hold tight for the upcoming slow motion. Hi, I'm Janae from Mahalo.com and I'm going to teach you how to make an old fashioned. No, God, please, no! Uh, that was awkward. For the bar old fashion, we're going to get a clear ice block. As clear as my love for you for following me on Instagram and TikTok. Let's get a huge cube for the mixing glass. Okay, maybe a little bit too big. Molto meglio. And now, let's get another cube for our glass. And let's cool the mixing glass down and discard the excess of water. The first ingredient is going to be a homemade Angostura bitter. Let me know in the comments down here if you'd like to know the recipe. This time we're going to use gum syrup rather than sugar cube. And a healthy bar spoon is going to be more than enough. For this version I'm going to use my favorite choice of whiskey for an old fashioned rye whiskey. 60 milliliters. Stir, stir, stir and let's put it over the ice block. Oops, all right, I think I'm gonna do a quality check before to serve it to you. Let's get our Italian orange, just a big portion of it, and it is time to express some of the oils right on the top of the glass. Pass it all around the rim and let's tidy it up a little bit. Let's get back our cherries and this time we're going to use a cocktail stick. Place it on the top of the glass and now you have 5 seconds to enjoy this cocktail before to move on to the pro version of an old fashion. For the tobacco syrup we need the gum syrup, tobacco essence, 3 or 4 drops should do the job. And now let's get the smoking gun and add some almond wooden chips. Add some more tobacco essence to it and let's fire it up. Mix it a little bit and let it infuse. The second step to prepare our cocktail is to prepare our chocolate fondue. Tea candle, pan, dark chocolate, quality check. Of course. Let's move on to the next ingredient, bacon infused bourbon. Get the induction hob and a pan. Bacon of the finest quality. Ah, so much work today, let me have a glass of water. Stir the bacon in a jar and better it's still a little hot because we're going to add some bourbon to it. 
Let's leave it infusing for about 30 minutes uh, and uh, let's save some of the bacon uh, for the garnish. Catch the last drops of fat from the pan and now we are ready to put it in the freezer. While we're waiting we can get a chill glass and prepare the chocolate rim. Mm. Clear ice bowl. And let's get ready to mix the booze. First ingredient, 3 drops of chocolate bitter. 10 ml of smoky tobacco syrup. Let's sprinkle a bit of the dark chocolate on the bacon too, just to make it a bit more yummy. And now it is time to filter the whiskey so that we can get it back to the clear form. Strainer, double strainer and a paper. And now let's wait. And wait. And wait. Sveglia! 60 ml in the mixing glass. Let's make it cold and uh, oh. pour it in the glass. Garnish it with the chocolate bacon and then you have it. The pro old fashioned. Oh. Thank you very much guys for watching this video, I hope you liked it and I hope you liked my twist on an old fashion. I guess you can already imagine what's my thoughts about this cocktail. With that being said guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, to click on the bell to get the notifications and I shall see you next week with a new video. Ciao ciao from Italy.